A study in contrast, Belgian Kim Kleisters was both the friendliest person on the WTA tour, as well as one of its fiercest competitors. She used her tremendous athleticism to out-rally her opponents and thrilled fans with her signature move. Most people remember for her, her splits. Oh, I used to get nervous. Don't do the splits too much. Don't get hurt yourself. Everybody talks about the splits, huh? but that's just the pinnacle. That's just the one thing that sort of stands out. That's the, the wow factor in the crowd. She was this unbelievable mover that could slide on hard courts, cover like four feet with the slide, get the balls back, and then all of a sudden move up into the court and crank forehand winners. Kleister's early career was wrought with disappointment. After reaching four Grand Slam finals without lifting the trophy, she started to worry if it would ever happen. I was in a rare situation because I was number one without having won a Grand Slam. And it's tough because the media starts asking questions about, yeah, but you haven't won a Grand Slam and you think you're worthy being number one. And at times I felt like maybe I'm not worth it. Kleister's luck would change at the 2005 U.S. Open, where she faced Mary Pierce in the final. I didn't expect Kim to play the way that she played. I was playing my match and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. <laughs> what is she doing? I felt like all the losses from the past, where I lost to Justine in the finals and to Capriati, they helped me in that moment. You feel the monkey's gone. <laughs> and then the first thing I wanted to do was go see my family and my coach and you know, my mom and my sister were there and my cousin. It was just very emotional, great moment. And I've been lucky enough to have had many of those moments, but the first one is always special. Kim Kleister is a Belgium. Kleister's retired in 2007, gave birth to her first child, and settled into family life. But she felt like something was missing. My love for the sport made me say, this is fun, I want, I want more. And when I had that feeling of, I want to try and make a comeback, I waited for, I think, 10 days before I told anybody. But that feeling only became stronger and stronger. It wasn't like she came back after one month of training. She spent six, seven months of training before she even got into a match. I still felt that there was going to take some time. I always said to her, like, accept whatever result comes. And I don't think she was going to go for that slogan. I just followed my instinct and my heart at the time, and it, and it worked. Kim Kleisters is back. She you know, has her baby and she comes back. And I was crying when she won the US Open and her kid coming on the court. It was just like for her, it must have been a dream come true. I remember thinking that is such a great advertisement for women and women's sports. Watching her balance one of the biggest trophies and still try and be a mother to her young daughter, it really touched me. After her 2009 U.S. Open win, Kleisters entered the most fruitful period of her career, successfully defending her U.S. Open title the following year, winning the WTA Tour Championships, and then lifting the Australian Open trophy in 2011. Now retired for good, Kleisters is working towards new dreams, which include running her tennis academy in Belgium and being the best mom she can be to her three kids. That was also a dream of mine as a young child is to have kids and to have a family. It's uh, the most important thing I will do in my life.